I've been lucky enough to be involved with the pitch now since 2009, so six years, and in that period of time, I've met some really stunning entrepreneurs with some really great ideas, and the pitcher seems to have sort of grown in in strength from from year to year. And uh, what I found last year, for example, which was really uh, was uh, very encouraging, was not only were they really great businesses that were pitching in the final, but they were also businesses that had a really strong social mission at their heart as well. In fact, the winners last year, BioBean, fantastic innovation, fantastic entrepreneurs, and looked like they've got a very successful business model, which I think is going to make a big impact, uh, collecting coffee grounds and uh, turning them into biofuel um, products. So uh, what's really, really interesting with the pitch is that it's giving these really early stage businesses the opportunity to wave the flag about what they're doing, get a bit of recognition, get some support, win a prize and get on, on track for being a, a hugely successful business in the future. And for me, being part of that process is fantastic. If I can support it, I will. You know, I've seen quite a lot of pitches over the years uh, through the competition and I think what you see, you always see good ideas. The ideas though, I would say, is the smallest part of the business. It's easy to come up with a good idea. It's actually do you have the resources, the talent, the passion, the drive, the team uh, to deliver those ideas and you, know, you need sometimes a little bit of luck as well. So, you know, one of the things that I, I think that um, stops businesses from being successful, ideas not taking off, is, is lack of entrepreneur confidence. You know, belief has got to be so important and what I look at isn't just the idea but the person behind it and do they really have, I don't know, if you like the kahunas to, to go out and just do whatever it takes to make that idea succeed because you know business is tough, it's not easy. If it was easy everybody would be doing it. My best bit of advice for people that are entering competitions like the pitch is to show to the judges that you're going to make this happen regardless, whether you win or not. You know, show your real grit that this is too important. You know, it's not about doing your best. You have to succeed in doing what is necessary, and that's what you have to do in business. It's 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 not easy. Um, you just have to you know accept and embrace failure and just keep get up and pick yourself up and dust yourself down and, and start again. I mean, I, I know because I've been in business now for 30 years and uh, it doesn't go how you plan it to. So if you're going to enter the pitch, if you, whether you win, fail, you know, get through to the finals or not, you know, just keep going because you will succeed with, you know, so much can be achieved just through sheer determination. Crowdmission is a crowdfunding platform specifically for entrepreneurs who have businesses that have a social mission at their very core because we believe you can make money and make a difference and what I'm all about and what Crowdmission is all about is helping those entrepreneurs to raise finance to fund the growth of those businesses. It's early days for Crowd Mission, but we're really excited because we're just about to reach target on our first pitch. It's called Fresh 2.0. It's a uh, business that actually uh, produces portable um, water purification devices for countries and communities in need. Apparently, 4,000 children die every single day from lack of clean sanitation and water, and they've raised thousands of pounds on, on Crowd Mission, so we're very pleased. You know, these days, people, when it comes to business, it's not just about making money, it's about making a difference as well. And I always say that if you're not a social entrepreneur, then you really should back somebody who is. Um, you know, of course you can give your money to charity, but you don't get that back. Why not, instead of doing that, why not put some money into uh, a business or an entrepreneur that's got a really good idea? It might be a biotechnology that's going to create a fantastic uh, new cure for cancer. It might be uh, an eco-innovation that's going to solve some of the pr problems around um, the ecology. Um, and why not actually put some uh, investment into those uh, fantastic ideas, those fantastic businesses, where there is a chance that if it succeeds, you might even make a bit of money as well. So backing businesses that do good and make money is, is a fantastic opportunity.